Hi everybody, it's Gardener Julia here. Happy New Year, happy 2021. I am here today at the Vestal School Garden and our topic of the day is something very, very exciting. We today are talking about our feathered friends, the birds. I know that this is one of my favorite topics, so I'm excited to share all of my excitement with all of you today. We are going to start by talking about birds and how they help our garden. And then we are going to practice our wing flaps. We're going to then take a calming mindfulness moment before we head outside and sprinkle some bird seed and take a look at some birds all around our homes and our neighborhoods. Let's get started. Before we jump in, I wanted to show you the sign language sign for bird. Here it is, I just learned it. You take your thumb and your index finger and place it to the side of your mouth. You close and you open your index finger twice. Isn't it cool how it looks kind of like the beak of a bird? Some people might have a hard time hearing and speaking, so they use their hands and eyes in order to communicate. All right, let's go learn about birds. All right, our first question is, what do you already know about birds? Do you know where they live? Do you know what they eat? Do you know what they sound like? Pause the video right now and take a few moments to think, what are some things I already know about birds? But you can even make a video of yourself telling me some really cool things that you already know about birds. Okay, great. So we might know a lot about birds already. We know that a lot of birds live in the sky. Some birds can't fly, so they live on the ground. We might have an idea about what they eat, what color they are. You might even have an idea about what types of birds live here in Portland. So that leads us to our next question. What kinds of birds live in Portland? Hmm, even just looking around right now, I can see a bunch of birds flying around in the sky. So let's think of some birds that live in Portland right now in the winter. Hmm, think about the last time you looked out the window. What types of birds do you think you saw? You could have seen an American crow or an Anna's hummingbird, perhaps a blue scrub jay or a sparrow or a black capped chickadee or a really cute downy woodpecker. Or maybe a bird of prey, like a hawk or a bald eagle. Or maybe even our mighty pigeon. Okay, now that we have a better sense of what types of birds live here in Portland, let's think a little bit about what you think they eat. Do you think that any of our birds might find something in the garden? Totally, birds love to eat things that are in the garden. Cool way to tell what a bird eats is you can actually look at their beak. Depending on what a bird eats, their beak changes. Some birds that really only eat nectar like hummingbirds often have a long skinny beak like this. They sink their beak deep inside of flowers to drink up that nectar. So some birds, they have a triangle beak like this. They'll only eat nuts and seeds and berries and insects. And some birds that only live near water, they will often have a beak that can scoop up fish like a big bull. A pelican like this is a great example of that. And finally, another common beak is for birds to have a really pointy and sharp beak like hawks and eagles. They use their beaks to pull apart flesh, things like dead animals and rodents. And our final question is, how do birds help the garden? We can take the information we learned about what birds eat to answer this question. Birds are super important for the garden because they will move seeds around and they eat pests and other insects. If you have too many slugs and snails in your garden, guess who eats slugs and snails? 
are birds. Birds also are really great at moving seeds around. It is very important for certain plants that they have birds who will come and pick up their seeds and move them to different places while they are flying. So some plants rely upon birds to move their seeds all over the world. It's very cool. Not only are birds super useful for our gardens, but they also are just so nice to look at. I like to be in gardens that have birds flying around in them because they make me feel nice and calm and happy. Okay. Here is your challenge. You can get up from wherever you're sitting. I am going to set a timer and you are going to flap your wings as many times as you can. Maybe we could even flap our wings just as fast as a bird can. So here is a list of a few common birds and how fast they flap their wings in 10 seconds. American crows flap their wings about 20 times in 10 seconds, whereas peregrine falcons can flap 43 times in 10 seconds. Our much smaller birds, like our chestnut-backed chickadee, can do 270 flaps in 10 seconds. And the fastest flapper is our Anna's hummingbird, and they can flap their wings up to 500 times in 10 seconds alone. That's so fast. I want to see if you can flap your wings as many or more times than any of our birds on our chart, okay? You need to make sure that you are counting how many times you flap your wings, okay? One detail is that in order for a flap to be counted, you have to go all the way up, all the way down, and back up. And that is the way that you can count if there was a full flap. They can't be little baby flaps they have to be full arm flaps okay no cheating because our birds don't get to cheat right okay here we go ready set go how many did you get i think i counted 18 but I could be wrong. Did you happen to flap as much or faster than any of our bird friends? All right, before we start our next and final activity, I want us to unwind a little bit from flapping our wings so much. We are going to sit and listen to the sounds around us using our deer ears. So you can take both of your hands and put them behind your ears and this will help you listen to the sounds around you. If you're inside, you can just listen to the sounds that are happening inside of your home. If you're outside, this is a great way to practice listening to the birds and all of the sounds around you. I'm going to sit and listen quietly for one minute. All right, now that we've done that, let's take a look at some birds. All right, you should have all gotten a little bag of bird seed. We just learned all about how great birds are and how interesting they are. And we wanna make sure that we are protecting them and taking care of them. So giving them a little bit of food is a really great way to do this. So you are going to find a nice spot to sprinkle some bird seed somewhere outside of your home. So I might sprinkle mine on my windowsill. I might sprinkle mine on my front steps. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some in the garden just along this picnic table. So hopefully the birds will see that there are seeds here and they will call to all their friends, hey, look, there's bird seed on our picnic table and they will come and begin to enjoy the beauties of our garden. So go ahead and find a spot that you think, if I sprinkle some bird seed here, maybe some birds will come and visit. All right, all I'm gonna do next is just sit quietly and watch the birds fly over our garden. I encourage you to do some bird watching at home. All you need is to look out a window quietly and patiently and see if you can identify any of the birds that are flying past your windows. 